Hi. Right now, it's three more days, kind of like two more days, until I go off to Oklahoma and do my odd dance audition. I'm actually really, really nervous. Everything's hitting me like right now. Like, oh my god, like, I'm actually gonna go all the way over there. Oh my god, now I gotta do this, this, and this. It's hitting me hard. Right now, I've I just came back from the mall, bought some last minute things that I needed for traveling. My planner, my calendar, my deodorant, moisturizer, lipstick, just things that I needed. The next day, actually, I'm gonna buy a new leotard, new tights, and new jazz shoes, which is gonna be a pain because breaking into new jazz shoes is so risky, but I need new jazz shoes because my old ones have rips. I need to look professional as much as I can. Unfortunately, I can't buy new hairspray or gel, so there's that. Uh, I have to literally buy it when we arrive at Oklahoma, so that just sucks. On a Thursday, probably early, early morning, around 3 a.m., we're probably we're leaving to the airport because our flight is at 6.30 a.m. and then we're going from Toronto to Chicago and then Chicago to Oklahoma. This had actually changed on the date of when we were leaving. So instead of going to Chicago, we went from Toronto to Dallas and Dallas to Oklahoma. Huge snowstorm that we were having that night. So just to let you know. My flight home will be Oklahoma to Texas and Texas to Toronto. I'm gonna be coming home around Sunday, leaving on Thursday early morning even though like I'm very grateful to have very supportive fam like parents and family and friends it, it's really hitting me like this is my chance I gotta do this right I gotta make it right it's now or never kind of thing it's terrifying me which I'm not used to it at these kind of opportunities they scare the shit out of me like for real for real <laughs> other than that I'm gonna wish the best of luck for myself. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my room, reorganize my whole space, just to clear off my mind and start packing too. Ah, <sighs> so nervous. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my mom to pick me up. We're gonna go ahead and go to the studio, pick up my jazz shoes, my beige tights, and after that, I'm also gonna buy some stuff at Freestyle Dance for new leotards. Let's get this going. Ah! Suit. But oh, here's the shoes. Gonna break into them. So the day is fast approaching and we are leaving tonight. A little heads up and update that I wasn't able to go to dance because it was snowing like really badly. So here we are. I'm gonna start packing. I just did some last minute, it's very bad, my documents of my applications. Here's the process of me packing up. It's very messy. Huh. I just showered, danced a little. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to redo my makeup. 
maybe wash my face. Maybe. Yes, we'll wash my face. I'm Barberson. Ringing. And you with me. Ati, I'm gonna wear your shoes. Which shoes? This one right here, the one I always wear. Oh, yeah, yeah. So dirty. Okay. And? I wonder where mom's shoes, but mom's wearing it. Why do you wear that? Because I like those shoes. <laughs> Bye. Love you Bye. Careful, mom. Oh. I'm just gonna carry it. just finally settled in our gate. We're gonna wait till 6 a.m. and after that, we're on the plane. Oh, 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 hell oh, yeah. Update. We actually just missed our second flight. So now we're gonna rebook the second one. Literally, we're rushing out of there just to make it, but I, I guess they already left us. So that's just a big bummer, you know? We're gonna get there. It's no rush, honestly. It's because we're gonna be going there and just having a, like a rest day. So for the next day, I can like function. <laughs> Just got rebooked. We're good now. <laughs> so I just got the email. So so now I feel confident. I feel good. I feel great. We're feeling good. Woo! Oh. Here, we're here. area huh yeah. finally rested I've been so dead this whole time you can see wow the area is very empty looking just because it's in the countryside it's very warm and quiet side outlet mall here we go wow doops mocha doops <laughs> Just got home. 
I am exhausted, but <laughs> I gotta wake up early. I will see you guys then around 6 a.m. And I have this little idea that I want to do with my hair, with my look and everything. I'm just worried about what my top is gonna be. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm vlogging my trip. Wanna say hi? <laughs> hi. <laughs> These are the new people I met in Oklahoma. <laughs> You're vlogging too. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? How dare you? Thank you. I can't say it's a day in life in OCU because we Day in life in the US as a Canadian. Um Hey. <laughs> Hi. Her name is Selma? Yes. Yeah, I got it right. And then this is Carolyn? Yeah. Yeah. And then and then and this is Emma. Hey. And then this is Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you. Don't say it. Don't say it. Wow, you're sounds like a C, but it's like Oh, oh, oh. I, I just oh. said it. I just said it. Sir, you're Emma. Emma? How dare you? Jaden. Okay. Jaden. Yeah. How dare you? Jane. I literally I was no, it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> We're down. 
Yes, it is. Hi, we just finished the uh, oh, audition. Watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Say goodbye. It was nice Thank meeting you all. Yeah. We're going to... Where is it? Where is it? Ichiban. Okay, hold on. Ichiban. This place. Exciting! We're waiting for a takeout. I am tired. But I did Put the seatbelt on. Put the food. <laughs> food. Yummy. Yeah, Hungry, and this is mine! Yay! Mock. <laughs> He's happy. He's super happy for sure. So we've been here 11 a.m. I've been editing this vlog <laughs> and playing Sims for the past few hours. But we're finally gonna board. So hopefully when we get home, our car is not buried with snow. Huh. We're on the plane. Five million. You guys in Toronto. actually been two days since I came back. As you can see, I got a new sweater. Ta-da! And also, I'm actually kind of waiting for my email since yesterday. And now I actually got it this morning, Tuesday, and I haven't opened it since then. Praying to the gods, hopefully everything's gonna go. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying. I think I did well enough for myself to be out there. Kind of got my, myself attached to this school and everything. I just hope that I did well enough to be acknowledged. But let me tell you all about the actual audition. We checked in, we did headshots, just waited, warmed up later on to introduce ourselves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we had to introduce our name, our number, and where we're from. I said this, ready? Jane Saron, number 77, Canada. Oh my days, I stuttered on my number. Oh my goodness. I walked out, confident, head high. As soon as I got to the other studio, I'm like, God, man, no way. I just did that. <laughs> there was that. After that whole introduction and everything, they explained what the day is gonna go like, and then we were split into two groups. One huge group warm up, jazz warm up, burnt actually my body was on fire perks of not always working out as usual as before but i just pushed it until like it's like one of my conditioning classes right literally the next day though let me tell you my body could not move it was sore like my shoulders were stiff my legs were burning my back burnt my stomach burnt everything was sore which is a good thing but at the same time that just tells me Man, I just gotta get back into my game, huh? I started with ballet. Oh my days. That did not go too well for myself. I knew the steps, but for some reason, the brain cannot translate it to my body, and my body cannot present how I wanted it to be. Like, on the sidelines, I knew what I was doing. I knew the steps. By the time it was my turn, for some reason, just in, out the other. Gonna mess up. Gonna forget. It, it just sucked. Hopefully I did well enough to like present that <laughs> as well as I can. But the other two was uh, tap and jazz. But in between that, we had lunch. During lunch, I actually met a few people, which was really nice. Changed my mindset of, you know, leaning more into OCU. Actually, I was planning to not make friends and everything because, you know, I'm all the way from Canada. If, if I made some friends, it would suck if I didn't make it. Now that I made friends, now I want to be with them with schooling. After lunch, we prepared for our tap class. And tap, the first combination, pretty good. I actually did pretty well. I was actually proud of myself because later on the second time, I knew what I was doing. Good job. The second combination was, oh, it's too fast, too fast. I literally was like trying. I knew the steps. I knew it's slow. 
I just couldn't get it fast enough to the tempo of this music, which sucked. It really challenged my uh, tap abilities. But other than that, just felt like, okay, I did pretty decent. It was like in the average middle. Jazz. I nailed that. I, I felt confident. I felt pretty good. I would make like the wrong moves here and there. I would still like stick with it and go with the next move, right? Go with the flow, trying to like make sure I don't make mistake, which is nice. But at the same time, I have to avoid that kind of thing. I have to make sure I stick with the choreography. So that's a little thing that I have to fix for myself. But other than that, I felt like I did pretty good. Pretty good. Piano solos. Everyone was amazing. My ass was so nervous for everything. Like. Like, trying to think of my solo, trying to process, okay, I gotta do this, this, and this, and this. I was in the other studio for a little while, just practicing my jumps, the snaps, the hips, and everything. I was so afraid that I might get my Charlie horse out of nowhere. And one of the practice rounds, uh, when I was doing my solo in the room, it started stepping up. Shoot. I literally had to, like, rest a little bit and don't practice as much. If I practice too much gone it's not gonna be a top tier i need to be warm enough to do everything but i can't be too warm to the point that i can't perform it to the highest ability warmed up did the jumps pretty well had to stop at like at a decent time and then started watching the other people as i got closer to numbers 60s area because we had numbers from 50 to 81 and i was number 77 so i had a long way to go but at the same time i still want to see everyone else's especially the people that i make friends with it's nice Personally, I felt like I did pretty well. That was like my redemption arc of, okay, just show them what you got. Just show your presentation, your like audience, your your stage presence, like the little, I'm gonna catch your eye kind of vibe. I did the best that I can. And honestly, now that I'm waiting for me to open the email, I'm terrified. I saw it actually during work and I was just looking at it. I'm like, frick, now this is the real deal. Now I got my email, I'm terrified to look at. And I can't open it during work because I'm waiting for families with me, my sisters, right? And I had to record my reaction. So basically the whole time during work, I was screaming my ass off. Just like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I'm still waiting for it to open. I haven't opened it yet, but I will probably put it in this vlog. So here we go. Either I'm going to be crying because it, it was an amazing experience and it was something that I was very hopeful for my future. I got home safely. Uh, we kind of missed, almost, not missed, we almost missed our flight because we landed at 6.10, but we needed to catch our next flight to Toronto at 6.50. By the time we were like out there at like 6.20, we were rushing to the next Skyline train, had to wait for like a next few stops. We arrived there around 6.30, 6.40. Thank you, we didn't miss it. Thank God. It was an adventure because literally all you see is my dad leading the way, running, kind of jogging. Me carrying my mom's stuff because sometimes she's like, she couldn't even go fast with it. And so I'm like, mom, I'm just gonna grab this and you're gonna run behind. <laughs> it was fun actually. We got home around like 12 and then after that, couldn't sleep until like 2 a.m. in the morning, 1 a.m. Had work the next day, so I had to wake up at 6 a.m., barely slept. For some reason, my Monday went by so fast, though. I'm actually really excited for you guys to see my whole adventure and my whole experience in Oklahoma. Thank you, OCU. <laughs> I will now share you my reaction. Ah! You're gonna get it. You're gonna, you're gonna get it. Yes. It's time. It's time. To open it. Ready? Where is it? Right here. Oh my god, oh Jada! My god. Ah! <laughs> ah! This one! It says congratulations! Hey, that's the only 
beginning. <laughs>